What I'm going to demonstrate in this video is how you can use Dream Report for Prophecy to generate reports on your plant applications database. The first step to creating any report is to open your Dream Report Studio, which I already have open with an existing project. For plant applications, the next step, if you don't already have a data source name configured, go to your Dream Report DSM Manager and add one there. As you see, I already have plan applications configured as a DSN and I can choose it in my drop-down box. If it wasn't available there, all you have to do is click the plus icon next to the drop-down box to add a DSN with the appropriate username and password information. As you see, this existing report that I have, which is in progress and only partially complete, I have a series of web elements and a free table with single data objects embedded in it. The first row of my report is a static row that's providing percent OEE downtime and waste according to a fixed production unit ID start and end time. The second row of my table is being dynamically created according to selections that I'll make in our Dream Report web portal. The start and end of report period and production unit ID are all updated according to the selections I'll make at runtime. To create this table, I simply drew a free table using the Dream Report free table icon. I define my columns and my rows, and then by right clicking on each cell, was able to add a single data object and embed it in that cell. The single data object, I selected the statistical function of a SQL query and define my SQL query using some existing SQL queries that I already defined using my Dream Report SQL Manager. The Dream Report SQL Manager is a tool that allows you to save SQL queries for use in multiple reports. For example, we have Get Downtime. It's a stored procedure that's being executed with a hard-coded unit ID start and end time, but I'll show you how we can easily change that. So I need to complete this table. Under percent waste, I'm going to right click and select single data object. Give my object a name. Under statistical function, I'm going to choose direct SQL query because I'm trying to execute a stored procedure. From plan applications. Choose my data source, my DSM, which is plan apps. I have existing SQL query for getting waste percent. I already have it stored in my SQL manager, so I'm going to click the plus icon, add it, click OK, and OK again. Now for the second row, we're going to have to make some modifications because that row, remember, is tied to my selections in, from the combo box and the start and end of report period timestamp pickers. By opening SQL Manager, I'm going to access that waste percent stored query. I'm going to copy the syntax that I have there. I'm going to go to my second row, again select single data, define my statistical function as a SQL query once more, define the SQL query, and this time I'm just going to paste that text, of course choose my data source, and then I'm going to make some modifications. Since I want a user to be able to define whatever production unit they're interested in reporting on, I'm going to add a dynamic token. If you recall, the user is going to select product production unit description, but actually the stored procedure is referencing production unit ID. So we're going to go ahead and reference that dynamic token. Next, I'm going to add my dynamic tokens for start and end time in a similar manner. 
Important note here on the start and the end time dynamic tokens, they do need to be surrounded. The brackets uh, need to be surrounded with single quotation marks. This is unlike the combo box dynamic token, which does not require single quotations. Oh boy. Now you'll see here we're executing our stored procedure of MSI calc percent waste. We've defined our unit ID dynamically as well as our start and our end time. We'll give our object a name. Click OK. And now our report is essentially complete. Just to show you how I define this production unit ID, that is also a single data object with a SQL query, and it's a simple select statement where I'm selecting that ID from the production units table where the description equals our dynamic token, our combo box selection. So that production unit ID will be dynamically updated according to the user selection from the web portal. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead, save, reload our reports, and then open our web portal so that we can interact with and generate some results. Under our OEE folder, we'll find our OEE test report. You'll see here that first row has already been populated. That's because it is a static row with no web element references. I'm going to choose our filler because I know I have some valid current data. And we're just going to go back to beginning of November to run a report. Go ahead and click refresh. And then you'll see percent OEE downtime and waste and our production unit ID have all been updated according to our selections. The variation between those two rows reflects the difference in the start and end of report period. And that's how easy it is to generate some reports using plan applications data and dream reports. Now I'd like to demonstrate how you can leverage the dream report SQL manager very easily and integrated with SQL Server Management Studio. In our SOA database, under programmability, we have a myriad of stored procedures. I'm going to show one as an example. We'll show top waste, the top waste events, stored procedure. All you have to do is execute the stored procedure. If you want to define the variables, such as unit list, start time and end time, you can do that to get some additional information on how to pass variables. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and execute that stored procedure. Now you take the body of that query, copy it, Go back to your Dream Report Studio. Open your SQL Manager. Paste that text. Give your SQL query a name. Add it. Click OK. And that's all there is to it. So I hope that 
This has given you some good information on how you can use Dream Report for plan applications reporting.